Hey guys, I'm Pixel Dan, and this is a review of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Out of the Shadows Technodrome. That's right, the original Technodrome is one of my all time favorite play sets. So when I found out that we were getting a brand new one in this new movie and we were getting a toy of it, needless to say, I was pretty ecstatic. Now, since that original playset is one of my all time favorites, Obviously, it's gonna have a lot to live up to, but let's go ahead and take a look at this new one and see how it measures up. As you can see, it comes in fully enclosed box packaging, which is actually pretty sweet because it does a great job of showing off how all of the action figures can be played with this big play set, pretty sweet. And if you rotate that box around to the backside, it does show off some of the included action features inside the Technodrome. Now, when you open this up, you're going to notice right away that there is some assembly required. There's a sheet of instructions in there that's going to help guide you through the process, and it's a bit tedious. So kids are definitely going to want to get their parents to help them out. Uh, you basically have to build the plates all the way around to kind of make the spherical design. So it's going to take you a little bit of time to get it all put together. But when that's all said and done, this is what we end up with. This is our brand new Technodrome playset. Now, you can see that it's a new design. It still has that round shape like the original one, but noticeably there's no eyeball at the top anymore. And it has a very Death Star feel to it. I mean, come on, look at this thing. Looks like it's straight out of Star Wars, right? Another thing that's interesting that I didn't realize looking at the front of the box, but when you put this together, you're gonna notice that only one side is actually closed in. The other side is fully open, so you can actually leave it in this spherical design and you can play with it on the inside there without opening it up, but it does still open up as well and expands out to over two feet as the box shows you. Now when it's all closed up like this, uh, just so you can see the dimensions, uh, it stands right around 15 inches tall and measuring across, it's about 13 inches across. So it's actually pretty good in size. It actually is about the same size as the original Technodrome playset, which is pretty cool. I do like the designs on here. I feel like there's some really nice sculpting going on and I like that we've got two tones of silver used. Kind of got this gunmetal and this bright silver. So that way it's not just a blob of gray plastic. I mean, there is some nice definition going on there, which is pretty cool. And if you look on the underside, you'll notice that we do have a few wheels on that center base. So when it's uh, in this mode right here, it does roll across the table. Uh, that's kind of cool. The original one had wheels as well. So this does have the ability to kind of roll around. It also like spins on that base. So you can actually rotate it on the base there as well. So I mentioned the other side is kind of opened up. You'll notice we've got a nice platform here, which is, you know, perfect for standing up your action figures. It's nice and solid there. You can get them standing up and you kind of get a look at the inside there. Also, you can see we've got little cannons sticking out of the sides, which is a great little throwback to the original as well. It had those purple cannons kind of on the outside. This has got little red ones sticking out on either side. You can see we got two on this side and one over here, and those are all projectiles. So I'll show you how to fire those in just a bit. I will say the overall weight of this is very light. Um, the plastic that's used is that very lightweight plastic that uh, we see a lot nowadays on a lot of vehicles and play sets. So this thing just doesn't feel as heavy and as solid as our vintage Technodrome or any of those vintage toys and play sets. It's very lightweight and the plastic is a bit flimsy. You'll notice that when putting it together. Now, when it's locked up like this, I will say that even though it's that lighter flimsy plastic, it does latch together well. You can see it's pretty solid. I don't have to worry about it like coming apart when I don't want it to. It's actually holding pretty well. If you wanna open it, we got a little latch right here on the front. And if you kind of press that in, that gives you the ability to fold this open. And you can see that even though it's only one side that opens this time, it's still very reminiscent of that original Technodrome. In fact, once you get it opened, if you look underneath here, we have this little foot that folds down to keep it balanced. Just like our vintage Technodrome had those red feet on there. So this is what our Technodrome looks like when it's all opened up. You can see we got a couple different weird pieces and parts in there that I'm going to show you guys as we're going through this. So... Uh, a lot of fun little action features. I do like all the colors that are seen in the center base here. You can see we got like these great blue and purple pipes kind of all over the place. And we got this little center platform in there as well. So let's go ahead and start with the uh, central part of our Technodrome. You can see we do got like this little base right here in the center. 
Uh, it does have a platform on the inside so we can stand our figures. Like I can put Krang in there if I wanted to, or you know, if I wanted Shredder coming in the base to try to take things over. Um, what's fun about this is there is a trap door here. You can see we got this red button right here on the front. And when I press that button, Boom, it sends Shredder down through the trap door. Uh, there's a great little door that opens up right here, and you can see Shredder is down here in this little prison cell. Again, that is a straight nod to the vintage Technodrome playset, the trap door that falls down into the little cell. Uh, it's obviously designed a little bit different, but same principle. It's kind of fun how the middle of it falls down into a prison cell just like the vintage one does. Uh, this over here is where we've got our turrets on the side. One thing I like about this particular double barrel turret is it has the ability to move up and down. Look at that. We can kind of trigger it up and down. You just have two little buttons on the inside. You'll notice them right away when you press those buttons. Boom! Boom! We got our firing turrets. The other one over here, you might notice, kind of moves around and it's got little handles on it. So you could actually get like your turtles to hold on to it. Let's see if I can get Mikey down in here kind of holding on to this gun. Why don't we? He doesn't really have much to stand on, so it's going to be kind of like he's just hanging off of it. You do have a little bit of like a, a lip kind of hanging off the side there, but yeah, there you go. So you can kind of get his hands grasping onto it there. And then there's a little button on there as well that's going to fire your projectile out. So that's kind of fun. Uh, flipping back around to this other side here, uh, I pointed out earlier that we've got this big platform up here, which is great. It will hold several figures, so you can stand a bunch of figures up here on this platform. We also have this little part that opens up in the front, which basically creates like another platform. So we just got another way for like turtle, your turtles to get off the ground, climb up here. It's great for playing with it for sure, and that just folds back up just like so. Uh, the other side is going to give us our last little uh, feature here. You can see we have another platform right up, drop a Mikey down here. We have another platform right up here. It's got this big bright red door. I'll see if I can get a good shot in there for you. Bright red kind of trap door on there. Um, we also have this door that opens up in the back. This is called the secret entrance. Hello. <laughs> so you can kind of open that up. You can bring our turtles in the secret entrance. When you put a little bit of pressure on that platform that they stand on, the door opens and it's supposed to be like a slide. You can see we got this little piece here. You can kind of flex that around a little bit too, but that's supposed to be like a trap door that leads into a slide, so they, ah, they slide down. It doesn't work super great. I mean, it's just one of those little pressure pads, so uh, you have to kind of clip it, push it, and clip it back up. You can see I'm like rocking this thing all over the place just trying to do it. I'm also trying to do it from the back. It's obviously a little harder, but that way you guys can see what I'm doing. But see, it just kind of clips back up in place. It is strong enough to hold a figure on it, so it's not gonna just fall down. You actually have to Put a little bit of pressure to it and there he goes ah! <laughs> so kind of fun but that's uh that's pretty much all there is to it you can see uh you can see what i was talking about with it being a little flimsy see how this thing's like kind of rolling all over the place also the wheels on the bottom part of the reason this was rolling around here um but this is what it looks like when it's all opened up. Um, there's a, a lot of room to actually stand figures in here, which I will give it credit for that. I do like that quite a bit. I like the big platform back here. I love the trap door in the center. I think that's a lot of fun. So you can really fill this up with figures, and I'll show you an example of that right now. You can really kind of fill this up with your figures. It's a great little play area. It makes for a neat little display area as well. So I definitely like it for that fact. All right, so when you want to close this thing back up, this is where it does get a little bit tricky and that flimsy plastic kind of gets a little annoying. Uh, first thing, you're going to want to fold that foot back up and then you can kind of fold this little slide thing back just like this. And then all you got to do is clip it back closed, but you'll notice it's not always even all the way. Um, you kind of have to match it up and there's like little lips that you just kind of have to plug into place. So you'll kind of do that just a little bit, get it locked in there. There we go, just like that. And then you lock the front one which is where you push to open up. There we go. And then it clips into place. So it's not too bad. It takes a little bit of effort sometimes to get it closed back shut. But once it's shut, I feel like it's it holds pretty solid. I like that quite a bit. And that's what our fully enclosed Technodrome looks like once again. All right, guys. It's comparison time. This is the brand new Out of the Shadows Technodrome standing alongside the Vintage Technodrome which is still to this day one of my all-time favorite play sets. And you can really see the difference of these two standing side by side. Now, the new Technodrome uh, stands about the same height, but you'll notice that the ball portion of it, the round portion, it's a bit bigger than the round portion of the original Technodrome. However, the original one is very solid, very heavy, and it did have a lot more going on on the inside, I feel like. I can kind of open this up here. 
I have some pieces falling out of it, obviously. Oh, I got the little bit. See, it opened up both ways. There was a lot more little levels in there. You know, kind of places for Shredder and Krang to sit and stuff. So, uh, it seems like they, they use their space a little bit better than the new one does. But, um, kind of neat seeing them standing side by side there. And, uh, like I said, I mean... This is one of my all-time favorite play sets. A lot of people hold this very close to their hearts. So does the new one measure up to the old one? No, not even a chance. But would it really? Was there a chance of the new one matching up to the original one? I don't know. It really kind of depends on the route that they took to make it. I will say this. I feel like this is still a very fun play set. Um, it could be a little bit more sturdy. I kind of wish we could close it up all the way so we have a full sphere, but that's not terrible. I kind of understand this is kind of neat because that way if you have um, a, a limited amount of space, like I do, honestly, on my shelves, you can still display it this way on your shelf and you can still stand some figures on it like this and that'll work just fine for your display. So I kind of... I kind of understand why they went this route. Um, the features inside are hit or miss. Some of them are a lot of fun. I love the trap door. I like the platforms to stand on. Um, the slide one isn't super great. The firing missiles are pretty cool. So there's still a lot going on with this. Now it retails for $39.99. So it's a $40 price point, which isn't too bad by today's standards. I wish it was a little bit more solid for that price point. The flimsy plastic could be a little bit more sturdy. It's really lightweight. In fact, when you pick up the box in the store, uh, one thing I did right away is I, I thought it was really light for a $40 price point. So maybe if it was around $30, I would feel it's a bit more fair of a price. But $40, still by today's standards, isn't so bad. And overall, I'm glad we have another Technodrome. I think it's pretty cool, and I'm anxious to see what this looks like in the movie and what kind of a role it's going to play. So there you go, my friends. A look at the brand new Out of the Shadows Technodrome from Playmates Toys. This is starting to hit store shelves right now. I found mine at Target. So happy hunting, my friends. And hey guys, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe so you never miss out on a review. Until next time, my friends.